what, what were kind of some of the changes you were talking about implementing? So well, not exactly changes, it's just I want to bring my own take to the position like as each of my predecessors have. I mean, I love what we've been doing, like office hours and like this, having this accessibility to them. And I want to keep going, keep that going. And I want to be as available as can be for everyone, each one of you. Um, another aspect of the role of IDP is being the APOS representative. How do you hope to um, cultivate relationships with other APOS awards? Um, I mean, as IDP, I want to be a face that represents the values of Troy Philippines, and I want to keep that communication open and I interact with each of the APASA orgs, like having that good, good relationship and like help us forward and growing as an organization. Can you name some new programs that you can bring as IDP? New programs. programs, I'm not exactly sure what I can bring, but that's something I want to work with like our top five and other eBoard members to help come with ideas. Also suggestions from other general members that we would like they would like to have that I could implement or bring up to the board. When you're talking about interns and how like the top five and just eBoard kind of shapes them to be like future leaders of Troy Five, what kind of leadership skills would you teach them like from your own experience and like your own leadership staff? From my experience, it's always good to know that everybody is equal on eBoard. Like no one, no one's better than one another, and also that we all have an opinion that matters to each one of us. So it's good to hear each other out. It's also like try to find that path that we want to go to and create take Troy Pie too. And I want the interns to be part of that because, like, to me, you are part of our eBoard because you help out with so much stuff. Uh, part of IVP's uh, responsibilities, I guess, is conflict resolution, whether in board or GMs or other orgs. But what do you say is your conflict resolution style? For me, I'm, I always like to keep an open mind and see the perspectives from both sides, but also like be a mediator where we can find like, the best solution to any conflict. Because I'm... Hmm. I mean, I don't like conflict, so <laughs> I just want to make sure like everybody's happy and like we find the right solution that like, fits both of it, both sides. Um, so you said you would bring your own spin to this role, even though you didn't have any particular new programs in mind. So can you elaborate more on what that spin would be? Like, what sets you apart from the old idea? I mean, everything. Everybody brings a, their own perspective to the position. For me. I'm more of like open to hear others, hear others, and like be. I want to be that line between general members and eboard, and I would maybe just have like a suggestion box or just like having people reach out to me and come to me with any like any other unbiased opinions. I would just hope to be that mediator. Uh, you talked a lot about accessibility. Um, why do you think that's important in our organization? I feel like we have to always, we always have to grow, so we, we need that feedback. So being accessible, like, it helps the, helps the welfare of just general members, e-board members, just anybody, just having that person that you can go to and know that it will be there, is just amazing to have. Um, what are your ideas with cultivating, like, Harmony in like the Troy Five community, like bonding. <laughs> I've seen like office hours being a place, and like we need to create that safe space. And it's like I want to work with like other eboard members, such as like social chair, and like also get opinions of what we want to do in the future to help expand, as also well maintain what we have here and what we're proud of. Thirty seconds. Last call for questions.